Walpole Film Festival started in 2003 as one of the first high school film festivals in the country. The program has been recognized nationally as a model for creativity and collaboration in the classroom. Students in the program are required to follow each step in modern independent digital filmmaking. This includes screenwriting, acting, art direction, shooting on digital cameras, editing on professional software, and composing original music. The festival culminates each year with a red carpet ceremony that celebrates the achievements of each crew. To learn more about this year's Walpole Film Festival and how to become a sponsor, please visit our website, walpolefilmfestival.com. Thank you and enjoy the movie. A lot of people think of high school as their glory days, especially junior year, the end of innocence, the last year of carefree fun before all the college crap starts. For me, it was anything but carefree. Hey, hey Sean. Yeah? Uh, I was just wondering, what are you doing this weekend? Oh, I don't know. What are you doing? I don't know, I was thinking maybe I should Sounds like going to be a good time. I was just wondering, uh, maybe you wanted to give me your map homework? Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't quite finish it. Thanks, and you know, have fun with whatever you do this weekend. Uh, thanks. You too. Attention juniors, election for class president will be held next week. Anyone interested should pick up a form from guidance. Also, you should sign up for your junior meetings if you haven't done so already. Well, lucky for you, no one signed up. Why don't you come in and have a seat? So, Sean, how's everything going? You seem to have adjusted quite well while you've been here. Uh, it's all right. You know, it's a lot different from New Brussels, but I like it. That's good. Uh, you seem to have no trouble making friends. Have you thought about colleges yet? Oh, I was thinking maybe, like, Syracuse. I like NYU, but I don't think there's much of a chance. Ah, well, I'd say you should beef up your resume if you're thinking about a shot at NYU. Have you ever considered student government? You're a likable guy. I'm sure you could do well. Uh, yeah, that, that sounds good. You mean like president, maybe? Um, maybe you want to start small. How about student council? Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. Well, I, I gotta go. I'll see you later. What's up, Sean? What's going on? How's it going? Oh, new kid running for uh, office. Maybe yeah, you could get rid of all my detention if you get elected. Yeah, if I get president, I could definitely get rid of the election. You, you're going to be president? Are you crazy? Why? What's wrong with president? Because you don't have a death wish? The last kid yeah, I hey, tried to... Hey, hey, Dan, Dan. Play nice, man. Play nice. Don't scare the poor kid. Besides, it'd be nice for some change around here, right? Am I right? Besides, hey, I'll be your campaign manager if you want. Oh, really? Yeah, sure. What, what's in it for you, though? We're friends. We're friends, aren't we? That's what we're friends are for, all right? All right, thanks, man. I really appreciate no that. No problem. That's awesome. No problem. All right, everybody, listen up. This is my great friend here, uh, Sean Radin, and he's running for president. Things have been the same way too long here, and uh, my buddy's going to change all that. So, uh, thanks. Well, uh, buddy, they'll, uh, <laughs> they'll learn to love you. After oh. Alex's speech, things got kind of weird. Alex, be careful. Don't worry. Hey, Sean, I heard you're running for president this year. Yeah, I guess news travels pretty fast. 
wouldn't do that if I were you. Listen, you're in way over your head. I'd drop out of this election if I were you. Okay, would you open up your textbooks to page 217? So, democracy, two-party system, the people vote. Well, yeah, but I mean, what about in the last election? The people didn't even like George Bush, and he didn't even win the popular vote when he ran against Gore. How, how is that democracy? Well, if democracy isn't perfect. Well, why don't people do something about it? Because people know what's good for them. It's better to accept an unfair system than to incite chaos. But that's like fascism. Democracy is supposed to be a two-party system. With every election, one party wins and the other loses. One party comes to power and the other party is eliminated. <clears throat> what was that all about? Oh, the wise guy thing? Yeah. Look, I, I didn't want to tell you, but uh, Roger, he's, he's got a lot going for him. Yeah, I know. He's good at everything. Girls. No, it's more than that. It's more than that. Yeah, he's got everybody under his thumb. You know, like everybody's either in a deal with him, doing something for him, or they're afraid of him. No, you know, that's, that, that just can't be true. I'm not lying to you. I know firsthand. What do you mean? Uh, freshman year. I ran. I ran against him. Class president. Okay, I'm not saying I should have won. But something isn't right. Dude, man, that's too absurd. I, I'm sorry. And everyone loves him. He was so terrible. Why would everyone put up with him? And he was all, why are you taking my parking spot? And I was all, why are you taking up my time? And then Sam said he got back in his car <laughs> and just left. <laughs> oh, one sec, ladies. Hey, new kid. So I hate my competition. Uh, Is this true? You got a problem with that? I just want to say good luck to you, and may the best man win. <laughs> Again. After what Alex had said, I started to notice things about Roger that I hadn't before. Oh no, forgot my lunch. Thanks, boys. Odd things, not really about him per se, more the way people treated him. We all know the um, significance of the 4th of July. What is it? Anybody? We obviously celebrate that because it's my birthday, sir. Yeah, the, um, the reason we celebrate the 4th of July is because it's Roger's birthday. The next day, I didn't see Alex in school. Yeah, I was so worried something had happened said, to him. Like, I'll call you later, and he got so so mad about it. I, reminder for I all students hey. for student government. Hey, do you know where Alex is? She's cheats don't talk in to by me. Friday. Now for Callist. Callist is block A today, and yes, in-house suspension is needed. On Callist A, Louis Jello, Jackie Andrews, Mike Allen, Hannah Parham, Tom Barnes, David Jinks, Greg Walter, Laura Bryan, Matt Landry. Oh, and this just in, and Sean Reedon. And that's all for the more announcements. Have a great day. Hello, Sean. Ladies, could you give us some privacy, please? So, what is it? Why am I here? Sean, you know why people get sent down here, right? Well, they've been bad. But, I mean, I haven't been misbehaving. Right. Students get sent here for being bad. For disrupting the balance here of all four eyes. Now, you're correct. You haven't done anything bad yet. But what you're attempting to do has already disrupted the balance of the school. Do you know what I'm referring to? Uh, no. no not really. The election, dammit! The election! Now, if you know what's good for you, you will drop out. 
You can't win, Sean. If you continue with this, you will lose in more ways than one. Now get back to class. Finals are coming up soon. Sean? Yeah? Have a nice day. After Ambush's warning, I began to worry that the whole school was under Roger's thumb. Mr. Reedon, I've got a proposition for you. There's someone I'd like you to meet. He's very interested in your campaign. Uh, thanks, but no, no thanks. I, I gotta go. Feed my dog and my, my cat and my, my hamster. Mr. Reedon, I'm not one of the goons chasing after you. I am simply a messenger, offering you the assistance of the sender and myself. Uh, okay. But I, I just want to say, though, my parents are gonna come looking for me. Excellent. Follow me. Now, Mr. Reed, I must warn you, this man is a loose cannon, a true rebel. What he says may shock, stupefy, even astound you. What about Bewilder? Sure, why not? Dumbfound? Whatever, it doesn't matter! Now, Mr. Reed, are you ready to find out how far down the rabbit hole man really goes? Sure, why, why not? Have a seat, Mr. Reardon. I'm quite interested in your bold attempt at the presidency. Now, what I am about to tell you may shock, stupefy, a sound. I get it, I get it. Right, right, right. Uh, now, Mr. Reardon, are you ready for the truth? The cold truth? The icy, bitter, chilly, with possible flurries in the late afternoon? All right, just move on. Very well, then. Mr. Balkus, could you turn on the lights? Thank you. You? Surprising, isn't it? I know I come off as a straight-laced, mild-mannered department head, but I'm a rebel, you see. This? This is the loose cannon you were telling me about? Just listen. All right? I have this information that might help you win the election. What do you mean? Just take a look at this. Shocking, isn't it? I, I don't believe it. I know, but it's all true. Every last word of it. Freshman year, your worthy opponent stuffed the ballot box. His adversary, Mr. Alex Green, should have won the election. Since then, he has abused his power. He's gotten nearly the entire school under his control, as you've probably figured out. I, I don't understand. Why are you telling me this? Very simple, Mr. Reedon. I give you something you need, and you give me something I need. Which is? Justice. I want justice. I don't want some smarty little kid pushing me around. Also, I'd like a new briefcase if that can be arranged. 
A new briefcase? It's ridiculous. This is all ridiculous. I can't win the election this way. Keep it. Very well, Mr. Reedon. I have it your way. I warn you, you're making a dire mistake. A dire, monumental, colossal mistake. That night, I read the file. And I learned that Roger was capable of anything. I began to suspect that Alex's absence was related to Roger. The next day, Roger and I had to deliver our speeches to the class. And in conclusion, I look forward to yet another term as president of Walpole High. I mean, who am I running against again? Thank you. Good morning. Uh, I, I know I haven't been going here very long, but um, and this school is kind of new to me, but I've come to learn that new experiences aren't necessarily bad ones. And, um, I oh, screw this. You see Roger right here? He's been tricking you for the past three years. Freshman year, he stuffed the ballot boxes. And ever since then, I've just been afraid to stand up to him. But now, now I, I am ready to stand up to him. If you want a cheater and a liar, then Roger is your man. But if you want a candidate who is honest and who will truly do his best to make this school a better place, then you should vote for me. So, Mr. President, what do you have to say for yourself? It isn't true. I have proof. It's all in this file right here. Now, Sean, so let me the lie. Why, my good friend Alex is right here. He'll tell you. Look at him. He's all bruised and battered. Tell him what happened. It, it, it isn't true. But tell him what they did to you. Tell him about the bruises. Uh, I accidentally elbowed myself in the face yesterday. No, Alex, not you.